All right, so first video uh, tour of the area from my nether portal. Yeah, this is going to lag up quite a bit, it seems. Unfortunately, maybe once we get set up with a real computer in this room, it will be better. All right, so uh, let's see. Come here. First of all, nether portal area. Got leaves around it. Stone floor. Nothing really fancy, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, let's go check out the uh, Bandersnatch Hotel first. Nice little beach area. Bunch of lawn chairs right next to a small pool. Yeah, pool in the river. Whatever. Hey! Looks like an Enderman's been here. Either that or somebody's been digging holes. Alright, so this is the hotel from the front. The lights out front. Lag. Have the. Oh, come on. Kitchen area. Kind of small for a hotel, I guess. Whatever. Manager's room. I don't think I get. Yeah, nothing in here right now. Kind of simple. It's one of my first builds on this server really uh, I like the hotel on the other server I had better but that eh, is what it is so here's the rooms pretty much all the same got a uh, there it is oh there's a block missing here too oh well oh, yeah, I got a bed little plant in the room table and chair TV and dresser that's uh, pretty much all these rooms are like that. I got six down here. Go up the stairs. I got the suite here. It's got a double bed, fancy lighting, and uh, bigger TV and drawer, dresser, I guess. I don't know. Probably going to make some improvements on this thing over some time, but. And of course, more rooms. These are just singles. Again. Up here is the lighting for the place, or the redstone power for that room. Not really much. It's just that one room on this floor. And there it is from the whips. There it is from the back. Yeah, it's not perfect, but let me say it was one of my first builds. Tried to kind of design it off of the one I had in the other server, but it's not that really all that great. Now this is a more recent build. It's using uh, some of the stained clay. Uh, the Pennsylvania Police Department, Aberdeenshire substation, of course. So I got the front desk. Interview room. Don't really have one way mirrors or two way mirrors, but if it's close enough, you get the idea. And of course, this one obviously has one of solid doors that you can actually open from the inside. So, just in case you gotta lock a prisoner up in there. We have my version of the Bloody Bun from Sluggy Freelance. Not an exact replica. Kind of hard to do with the wool, but you get the point. Rabbit skull and crossbones, yeah. If you are a friend of mine on Facebook, you've probably seen that as my profile pic. So, yeah. Done some stuff over there. Nothing interesting, nothing to get into. Really just turned it into a fire swamp using another rack. <laughs> yeah, Princess Bride reference, I know. Kind of cheesy, but hey. It's a great movie, what do you want me to do? Alright, so I'll save the castle for last, so I'm going to go over to where my initial house in this area was and check that out first. Alright, well, originally 
uh, we started the server before 1.6.2 came out, so this used to be sandstone on top of the nether rack, but it's not noise. No, whatever. Um, I decided to change it to clay. I might change it even more uh, to a different color. Green doesn't seem to really be working too well for that. Uh, it's a guest house now, so I've got a little cement floor here. Some stuff, just some boxes and stuff. Carpeting down. A small attic. Window to look out. Nothing fancy. Just kind of basic house. Was enough to get me through for quite a while until I decided to build the castle, really. Excuse me. Uh, over here's my puppies. Oh, this is probably contributing to the lag. Chickens! There they can live for now. Uh, sheep area is there. It's my materials farm. Well, well not materials. Uh, crops farm, I guess. Got potatoes. Let me close. Potatoes, carrots, and wheat. Not very big, but sufficient for now. Got reeds over here. Melons. I'm probably going to turn one of these into pumpkins instead of melons, but haven't bothered yet. Neither are all that valuable to me at this point. So you got a lot of little piggies. Bunch of cows. Probably gonna come on a slaughter trip one of these points. And of course, my uh, horse pen and stables. I hate when that happens. Alright, so a couple of my horses. I got quite a few. Some of them I've bred out to get the ones I have. Others I actually captured. Took a while to get them here, but yeah. Uh, I like that one. That one's a four and a half jumper, uh, 11 hearts, pretty quick. I got one in town at the racetrack that's actually better than that, but yeah, that guy's still pretty good. It's actually the uh, spring of the one back in the track. Oh, come on. And of course, my first horse, Bucephalus, complete with diamond armor on. Let's see. Yeah, I know he's not the right color for Bucephalus, but it was my first horse, so I had to name him something. I like that name, for a horse especially. My first white horse, not a particularly uh, good horse as far as health or speed or jumping. Well, health is 12, that's not bad. If I can even manage to hit the right button here. Ah. Yeah, there's definitely lags. Fraps does not like this connection much. Um, yeah, it's okay on health, but otherwise not super good. But, yeah. Um, Eric Eid is Irish, uh, I mean silver. That's my milking cow. This is, uh, I actually have no idea how to say that, but it means cool shadow. Also Irish. Figured it was a kind of neat name. And go up stairs, if I can get up there. Well, up ladders, whatever. This is my uh, food storage area for the horses, like most barns, I guess, are. Got more food in here. Uh, golden stuff for breeding. Sugar and bread and wheat for growing them up. Buckets if I ever actually decide to get milk from that cow. This is uh, all the stuff I have, just miscellaneous horse stuff. Uh, armor, saddles, some of these I still have from before. Uh, I've given a couple away, so... That just shows how many I've gotten. 
a uh, bunch of leads, a bunch of that stuff. And drop it. Oh yeah, almost forgot about this. This was my uh, initial storage area when I got over here, this little cobblestone structure here. Uh, when I built the castle, I ended up moving everything over there. But as the uh, storage area in the castle fills up, I'll probably put more boxes in here again. I had probably put boxes in here too now. I didn't even think of that. This used to be all furnaces in this one. Then there's alcoves down here for storage as well. So this is actually quite a bit of storage space combined with what I have upstairs or uh, in my castle. All right, now my castle. Uh, this is based off of the Castle Drum, which is the Irvin family castle in Scotland. Uh, some history behind it. If you're really interested that much, you can look it up. Uh, let me go into Creative to give you guys a good look on the X here. That's better. All right. Uh, so it's not an exact replica, but it is pretty good, actually. Here, give me a second. All right, turn that off so it doesn't get in the way. So, yeah, it's not an exact replica, but it gets the spirit of it, I think. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Go around it. Get some height here. It took me about, oh, what was it, a day and a half, a little bit more. Probably a good... 12 hours of work just to get the walls and the roof done. Uh, made some changes to it since then, but yeah. I had to, I started out with the tower being too small, uh, too narrow. Probably is still a little bit off scale. Can make it, raise it up another level maybe, but I like it the way it is right now. So, I have my little graveyard out here, and I almost forgot my little horse pen. There. All right. So I actually have decided that this is going to be my main entrance back here, just because it's got the quartz. It's all fancy. The other side's just a gate. Nothing really big. But yeah. So rear entrance or main entrance, front entrance. I don't know. Whatever. Figure that out eventually. But this is the main hall inside. Uh, actually, this area here uh, was added in later, the wall or the floor over there, as was the floor above me right now. I just did that last week. Um, that wall there used to be wood. I replaced it with clay. I think it looks a little bit better than the wood did. All right, so let's start out doing this direction. We have here... Library, a bunch of bookshelves, enchanting table. Got some books in there. A couple of seats to sit on if you want to sit down and read while you're in here. Uh, I need to build a few more to complete this thing out, but it's pretty good right now. Um, yeah, let's see. Actually, let's go this way. It's the like kitchen. Again, try the for the cement floor look here. Doesn't look quite the same as it does over in the other room or in the other building, but it still looks kind of cementy. So I got food chests, meat, veggies, uh, well, just random, you know, coal and whatnot for cooking. Got my ovens there. I'm not really a big kitchen guy, if you can't tell. Microwaves work fine for me. All right, so this is my lab, uh, the entry to my lab, which is just pretty much this tower is my lab facility here. So I got my nether wart and my water source in here. And then you go up this ladder. Oh, come on. All right, so the second area has... Uh, more water. I don't think I'll actually take from those because I have the infinite source down the, on the other story. Uh, got the already done potions. Yeah, 
have the more potions. Then these, uh, Generic B from the Minecraft server uh, saw he had this idea for uh, getting potions. You pretty much are getting equipment from these things. Pretty much just walk up to it and uh, it should. Yeah, there you go. See? Got that in my inventory. Um, the dropper just spits it out when you walk up to that plate and it triggers the plate. So, pretty neat little device. So, yeah, empty bottles, water bottles. So you get those, and then you'd come up here, and you'd drop them in the brewing stands, and do whatever you do. I didn't even realize those were done. Hmm. I'll have to get them thrown off there some other time. But, uh, and you have the nether wart there that you walk up to, and it pops out just like below, and the same with the awkward potions, so. And you got, this is the other materials you use for the potion. Yeah, this is getting a little long, but I figure that would make for a good uh, first video just to you know, get the feel of things. Probably have to learn how to cut these short quite a bit in the future. Alright, so my dining area. I really do like the carpets. Uh, have the trick. Uh, I don't know if we can. Let's see. All right, in creative. I can't destroy things with an axe. And apparently, I destroy things and don't get them back. I completely forgot about that. Okay, let's see. Well, I guess considering where this is, it doesn't really matter what type of block I have. I do want to make sure I get the right carpet. This is just not my day for this, huh? Alright, there. Uh, now I'll put this away. And, but yeah, I have, I'm not going to try to figure out which one of the, these it is, but, uh, I've got the torches under the carpets and just put the carpet right down on top so the light shines through that way. It means I can... Oh, shut up, zombie. They're outside, don't bother me anyway. But yeah, the light will shine through the carpet. It's pretty neat. Uh, okay, so let's go... If I can actually control myself. Go outside this door. And uh, this is the main courtyard. Well, the only courtyard area, I guess. But the little... Uh, Glowstone pool here. Nice and fun. Mess around with. This is view from the inside up here. Then there's. I'm not actually going to go in here the way this is lagging. It'd be too problem. But it's just a hallway that runs down over into here. Come on, stop it! Yeah, so it runs into here. Ooh, I left this open. Okay. Then come over here. This is my work area, pretty much, uh, on this side. I'm actually just going to go through it real quick to show you the chapel, and then I'll come back here and finish with this. So, yeah. This is my chapel area. Bonsha Chapel. Bonsha is one of the uh, urban groups, not actually related to the ones that were at the castle at Drum, or Castle Drum, but yeah, I figured give a little bit of a recognition to them anyway. Uh, truthfully, I'm not actually sh exactly sure which group we're actually from, but whatever. Anyway, uh, so we got kind of chandeliers up there. Maybe I'll work on those a little bit later. Make them look a little better. I don't know. Got a lot of things I want to improve gradually, but yeah, it takes time, so we'll see. Ah, uh, there is uh, my horse John and my mule Bumpy 2. Lost Bumpy 1. Stupid skeleton wouldn't move, couldn't get around the mule, and the skeleton shot the mule. Oh yeah, well. 
Uh, so, furnace area. Self-explanatory. Fuel. Lots of blaze rods, because we have a blaze farm. My dungeon's down there. Nothing impressive, really. Mob drops. This is my main storage area for uh, right now. As I was saying, I might move once I fill this stuff up, which, as you can see, it's getting quite full. It's three, almost three chests of dirt, a bunch of stone, cobble, smooth stone, brick, stuff like that. All types of stuff over here. Uh, iron, gold, bunches of clay. Yeah, so that's this whole area is pretty much storage for different stuff. And we go up at level, and this is the main tower, by the way, the big tower. Uh, this is my armory. Got a couple anvils. Armor. Uh, talking about getting the Bibliocraft mod on here, in which case we'll have armor stands. And I'll actually have this stuff displayed on armor stands. Uh, all this gold armor uh is from mob drops. I've repaired it along the way with other mob drops, so yeah, quite a bit. Uh, same with the chain mail. Uh, I got stuff for, well, there's nothing in that one. This one has stuff for bows, well, just bows and arrows right now. Uh, books and stuff that needs repaired, spare anvils. Uh, I'm not sure why I have that one in here still. And this is the uh, base materials for everything including cool for torches. Uh, next floor is the barracks. I'll come back to that because that's where it branches off into the other part of the tunnel. This floor, I don't actually have anything on this floor yet. Open to suggestions. It's the next to last floor, so it'd be something that would be good to have at the top of the tower, I guess. And if I can get up this, this is the top of the tower. I got a little fireworks display here that I've never had the opportunity to set off yet, but yeah. So, see if we can do this without dying. Got a decent view from here. Um, I had to turn the render distance down to try to help with the lag a little bit, but it's not too bad. You can still see pretty far. So. see into the small which is I guess not really all that far all things considered but you see all my horses kind of see the hotel when you're not looking at it directly just typical when you have this render distance on so yeah and back down we go so we can fit through the hole Well, I guess I want to die. I am in creative mode. Eh, whatever. Alright, so, barracks. Just a bunch of beds. Nothing special. Uh, but, does lead into here, which is, this is above the chapel and the library over here. I put this in recently. I gotta find some way to cover this up. This allows me to actually get out onto the roof without having to go into creative mode or to tower up for some reason uh, with dirt or something like that. Uh, not much need to go on the roof. I think I finally got it. Oh, come on. There it goes. I think I finally got the roof lit up as much as I want it, but it's hard to tell sometimes until the mobs start spawning there. All right. This floor, not really sure what I'm going to do with here yet. Maybe put some storage up here. I don't know. But uh, it's pretty much just, you know, an attic space, I guess. I don't know. But you can, a couple windows you can look out in the back. And this is a small storage area up here. I got my fireworks. Uh, what do I have in here? Just some random stuff in there. Oh, my gunpowder and TNT I'm hiding up here. Not that it's really hid. I think my brother already knows where it is, but yeah. And this is my bedroom. Sheepy! What's up, dog? Uh, just stuff in here. Some of my better armor in here. Uh, 
<laughs> Weather caps again, these are mob drops. Uh, another random box with, well, that at least does have a use. Got lots of mushroom soup in it. And come out this door. This is just my, uh, pretty much my escape route. If I'm caught in here, not that we ever do PvP on this server, I don't think we ever will, but just in case, that's my little way out. Seeing as it's the, uh, well, I guess it was stupid to tell everybody that, but whatever. There you go, and you get out right here. It can't be opened from the outside, so it used to have it. So this door was more of a secret door that led into my, oh, come on, close. My lab tower right there. But uh, I decided to change it when I built the other entrance because I figured there wasn't really much need for a second entrance over here. It was a pain in the neck to get to anyway because I usually work in the tower, which meant I always had to run down past everything, the rest of the castle, just to get up here. So, uh, And that's pretty much it. Just let me make sure I got this other door. Uh, let me get up the ladder and then make sure this other door is closed and I will see y'all next time. Good night dog.